Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the clear book. Indeed, we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran that you might understand. We relate to you, O Muhammad, the best of stories in what we have revealed to you of this Quran, although you were before it among the unaware. Of these stories mention when Joseph said to his father, O my father, indeed I have seen in a dream eleven stars and the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating to me. He said, O my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers or they will contrive against you a plan. Indeed, Satan to man is a manifest enemy. And thus will your Lord choose you and teach you the interpretation of narratives and complete his favor upon you and upon the family of Jacob, as he completed it upon your fathers before, Abraham and Isaac. Indeed, your Lord is knowing and wise. Certainly were there in Joseph and his brothers signs for those who ask, such as when they said, Joseph and his brother are more beloved to our father than we, while we are a clan. Indeed, our father is in clear error. Kill Joseph or cast him out to another land. The countenance of your father will then be only for you, and you will be after that a righteous people. Said a speaker among them, do not kill Joseph, but throw him into the bottom of the well. Some travelers will pick him up, if you would do something. They said, O oh, our father, why do you not entrust us with Joseph, while indeed we are to him sincere counselors? Send him with us tomorrow, that he might eat well and play, and indeed we will be his guardians. Jacob said, Indeed, it saddens me that you should take him and I fear that a wolf would eat him while you are of him unaware. They said, if a wolf should eat him while we are a strong clan, indeed we would then be losers. So when they took him out and agreed to put him in the bottom of the well, but we inspired to him, you will surely inform them some day about this affair of theirs while they do not perceive your identity. And they came to their father at night weeping. They said, O oh, our father, Indeed, we went racing each other and left Joseph with our possessions, and a wolf ate him. But you would not believe us, even if we were truthful. And they brought upon his shirt false blood. Jacob said, Rather, your souls have enticed you to something, so patience is most fitting. And Allah is the one sought for help against that which you describe. And there came a company of travelers, then they sent their water drawer, and he let down his bucket. He said, Good news, here is a boy. And they concealed him, taking him as merchandise. And Allah was knowing of what they did. And they sold him for a reduced price, a few dirhams. And they were concerning him of those content with little. And the one from Egypt who bought him said to his wife, Make his residence comfortable. Perhaps he will benefit us, or we will adopt him as a son. And thus we established Joseph in the land, that we might teach him the interpretation of events. And Allah is predominant over his affair, but most of the people do not know. And when Joseph reached maturity, we gave him judgment and knowledge, and thus we reward the doers of good. And she, in whose house he was, sought to seduce him. She closed the doors and said, Come, you. He said, I seek the refuge of Allah. Indeed, he is my master, who has made good my residence. Indeed, wrongdoers will not succeed. And she certainly determined to seduce him, and he would have inclined to her had he not seen the proof of his Lord. And thus it was that we should avert from him evil and immorality. Indeed, he was of our chosen servants. And they both raced to the door, and she tore his shirt from the back, and they found her husband at the door. She said, What is the recompense of one who intended evil for your wife, but that he be imprisoned or a painful punishment? 
Joseph said, It was she who sought to seduce me. And a witness from her family testified, If his shirt is torn from the front, then she has told the truth, and he is of the liars. But if his shirt is torn from the back, then she has lied, and he is of the truthful. So when her husband saw his shirt torn from the back, he said, Indeed, it is of the woman's plan. Indeed, your plan is great. Joseph, ignore this, and, my wife, ask forgiveness for your sin. Indeed, you were of the sinful. And women in the city said, The wife of Al-Aziz is seeking to seduce her slave boy. He has impassioned her with love. Indeed, we see her to be in clear error. So when she heard of their scheming, she sent for them and prepared for them a banquet, and gave each one of them a knife, and said to Joseph, Come out before them. And when they saw him, they greatly admired him, and cut their hands, and said, Perfect is Allah. This is not a man. This is none but a noble angel. She said, That is the one about whom you blamed me. And I certainly sought to seduce him, but he firmly refused. And if he will not do what I order him, he will surely be imprisoned and will be of those debased. He said, My Lord, prison is more to my liking than that to which they invite me. And if you do not avert me from their plan, I might incline toward them and thus be of the ignorant. So his Lord responded to him and averted from him their plan. Indeed, he is the hearing, the knowing. And it appeared to them after they had seen the signs that Al-Aziz should surely imprison him for a time. And there entered the prison with him two young men. One of them said, Indeed, I have seen myself in a dream pressing wine. The other said, Indeed, I have seen myself carrying upon my head some bread from which the birds were eating. Inform us of its interpretation. Indeed, we see you to be of those who do good. He said, You will not receive food that is provided to you, except that I will inform you of its interpretation before it comes to you. That is from what my Lord has taught me. Indeed, I have left the religion of a people who do not believe in Allah, and they, in the hereafter, are disbelievers. And I have followed the religion of my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and it was not for us to associate anything with Allah. That is from the favor of Allah upon us and upon the people, but most of the people are not grateful. O my two companions of prison, are separate lords better, or Allah, the one, the prevailing? You worship not besides him, except mere names you have named them, you and your fathers, for which Allah has sent down no authority. Legislation is not but for Allah. He has commanded that you worship not except him. That is the correct religion, but most of the people do not know. O two companions of prison, as for one of you, he will give drink to his master of wine, but as for the other, he will be crucified, and the birds will eat from his head. The matter has been decreed about which you both inquire. And he said to the one whom he knew would go free, Mention me before your master. But Satan made him forget the mention to his master. And Joseph remained in prison several years. And subsequently the king said, Indeed, I have seen in a dream seven fat cows being eaten by seven that were lean, and seven green spikes of grain and others that were dry. O eminent ones, explain to me my vision, if you should interpret visions. They said, It is but a mixture of false dreams, and we are not learned in the interpretation of dreams. But the one who was freed and remembered after a time said, I will inform you of its interpretation, so send me forth. He said, Joseph, O man of truth, explain to us about seven fat cows eaten by seven that were lean, and seven green spikes of grain and others that were dry, that I might return to the people. Perhaps they will know about you. Joseph said, You will plant for seven years consecutively, and what you harvest leave in its spikes, except a little from which you will eat. Then will come after that seven difficult years, which will consume what you saved for them, except a little from which you will store. 
and will come after that a year in which the people will be given rain and in which they will press olives and grapes. And the king said, Bring him to me. But when the messenger came to him, Joseph said, Return to your master and ask him what is the case of the women who cut their hands. Indeed, my lord is knowing of their plan. Said the king to the women, What was your condition when you sought to seduce Joseph? They said, Perfect is Allah, we know about him no evil. The wife of Al-Aziz said, Now the truth has become evident. It was I who sought to seduce him, and indeed he is of the truthful. Is so Al-Aziz will know that I did not betray him in his absence, and that Allah does not guide the plan of betrayers. And I do not acquit myself. Indeed, the soul is a persistent enjoiner of evil, except those upon which my Lord has mercy. Indeed, my Lord is forgiving and merciful. And the king said, Bring him to me. I will appoint him exclusively for myself. And when he spoke to him, he said, Indeed, you are today established in position and trusted. Joseph said, Appoint me over the storehouses of the land. Indeed, I will be a knowing guardian. And thus we established Joseph in the land to settle therein wherever he willed. We touch with our mercy whom we will, and we do not allow to be lost the reward of those who do good. The reward of the hereafter is better for those who believed and were fearing Allah. And the brothers of Joseph came seeking food, and they entered upon him, and he recognized them, but he was to them unknown. And when he had furnished them with their supplies, he said, Bring me a brother of yours from your father. Do not you see that I give full measure, and that I am the best of accommodators? But if you do not bring him to me, no measure will there be hereafter for you from me, nor will you approach me. They said, We will attempt to dissuade his father from keeping him, and indeed, we will do it. And Joseph said to his servants, Put their merchandise into their saddlebags, so they might recognize it when they have gone back to their people, that perhaps they will again return. So when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, further measure has been denied to us, so send with us our brother that we will be given measure, and indeed we will be his guardians. He said, Should I entrust you with him except under coercion, as I entrusted you with his brother before? But Allah is the best guardian, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. When they opened their baggage, they found their merchandise returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, what more could we desire? This is our merchandise returned to us, and we will obtain supplies for our family, and protect our brother, and obtain an increase of a camel's load. That is an easy measurement. Jacob said, Never will I send him with you until you give me a promise by Allah that you will bring him back to me, unless you should be surrounded by enemies. And when they had given their promise, he said, Allah, over what we say, is witness. And he said, O oh my sons, do not enter from one gate, but enter from different gates, and I cannot avail you against the decree of Allah at all. The decision is only for Allah. Upon him I have relied and upon him let those who would rely indeed rely. And when they entered from where their father had ordered them, it did not avail them against Allah at all, except it was a need within the soul of Jacob, which he satisfied. And indeed, he was a possessor of knowledge because of what we had taught him, but most of the people do not know. And when they entered upon Joseph, he took his brother to himself. He said, Indeed, I am your brother so do not despair over what they used to do to me. So when he had furnished them with their supplies, he put the gold measuring bowl into the bag of his brother. Then an announcer called out, O caravan, indeed you are thieves. They said while approaching them, What is it you are missing? They said, We are missing the measure of the king, and for he who produces it is the reward of a camel's load, and I am responsible for it. They said, By Allah, you have certainly known that we did not come to cause corruption in the land, and we have not been thieves. 
The accuser said, Then what would be its recompense if you should be liars? The brother said, Its recompense is that he in whose bag it is found, he himself will be its recompense. Thus do we recompense the wrongdoers. So he began the search with their bags before the bag of his brother. Then he extracted it from the bag of his brother. Thus did we plan for Joseph. He could not have taken his brother within the religion of the king except that Allah willed. We raise in degrees whom we will, but over every possessor of knowledge is one more knowing. They said, if he steals, a brother of his has stolen before. But Joseph kept it within himself and did not reveal it to them. He said, you are worse in position, and Allah is most knowing of what you describe. They said, O oh, Aziz, indeed he has a father who is an old man, so take one of us in place of him. Indeed, we see you as a doer of good. He said, I seek the refuge of Allah to prevent that we take except him with whom we found our possession. Indeed, we would then be unjust. So when they had despaired of him, they secluded themselves in private consultation. The eldest of them said, Do you not know that your father has taken upon you an oath by Allah, and that before you failed in your duty to Joseph? So I will never leave this land until my father permits me, or Allah decides for me, and he is the best of judges. Return to your father and say, O oh, our father, indeed your son has stolen, and we did not testify except to what we knew, and we were not witnesses of the unseen. And ask the city in which we were, and the caravan in which we came, and indeed we are truthful. Jacob said, Rather, your souls have enticed you to something, so patience is most fitting. Perhaps Allah will bring them to me altogether. Indeed, it is he who is the knowing, the wise. And he turned away from them and said, O oh, my sorrow over Joseph! And his eyes became white from grief, for he was of that a suppressor. They said, By Allah, you will not cease remembering Joseph until you become fatally ill or become of those who perish. He said, I only complain of my suffering and my grief to Allah, and I know from Allah that which you do not know. My sons, go and find out about Joseph and his brother, and despair not of relief from Allah. Indeed, no one despairs of relief from Allah except the disbelieving people. So when they entered upon Joseph, they said, O oh, Aziz, adversity has touched us and our family, and we have come with goods poor in quality, but give us full measure and be charitable to us. Indeed, Allah rewards the charitable. He said, Do you know what you did with Joseph and his brother when you were ignorant? They said, Are you indeed Joseph? He said, I am Joseph, and this is my brother. Allah has certainly favored us. Indeed, he who fears Allah and is patient, then indeed Allah does not allow to be lost the reward of those who do good. They said, By Allah, certainly has Allah preferred you over us, and indeed we have been sinners. He said, No blame will there be upon you today. Allah will forgive you, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. Take this, my shirt, and cast it over the face of my father. He will become seeing, and bring me your family, all together. And when the caravan departed from Egypt, their father said, Indeed, I find the smell of Joseph, and would say that he was alive, if you did not think me weakened in mind. He said, By Allah, indeed you are in your same old error. And when the bearer of good tidings arrived, he cast it over his face, and he returned once again seeing. He said, Did I not tell you that I know from Allah that which you do not know? They said, O oh, our Father, ask for us forgiveness of our sins. Indeed, we have been sinners. He said, I will ask forgiveness for you from my Lord. Indeed, it is he who is the forgiving, the merciful. When they entered upon Joseph, he took his parents to himself and said, Enter Egypt, Allah willing safe and secure. And he raised his parents upon the throne, and they bowed to him in prostration. And he said, O oh my father, this is the explanation of my vision of before. 
my Lord has made it reality, and he was certainly good to me when he took me out of prison and brought you here from Bedouin life after Satan had induced estrangement between me and my brothers. Indeed, my Lord is subtle in what he wills. Indeed, it is he who is the knowing, the wise. My Lord, you have given me something of sovereignty and taught me of the interpretation of dreams. Creator of the heavens and earth, you are my protector in this world and the hereafter. Cause me to die a Muslim and join me with the righteous. That is from the news of the unseen which we reveal, O Muhammad, to you. And you were not with them when they put together their plan while they conspired. And most of the people, although you strive for it, are not believers. And you do not ask of them for it any payment. It is not except a reminder to the worlds. And how many a sign within the heavens and earth do they pass over while they therefrom are turning away? And most of them believe not in Allah except while they associate others with him. And do they feel secure that there will not come to them an overwhelming aspect of the punishment of Allah, or that the hour will not come upon them suddenly while they do not perceive? Say, this is my way. I invite to Allah with insight, I and those who follow me, and exalted is Allah, and I am not of those who associate others with him. We sent not before you as messengers except men to whom we revealed from among the people of cities. So have they not traveled through the earth and observed how was the end of those before them? And the home of the hereafter is best for those who fear Allah. Then will you not reason? They continued until, when the messengers despaired and were certain that they had been denied, there came to them our victory, and whoever we willed was saved, and our punishment cannot be repelled from the people who are criminals. There was certainly in their stories a lesson for those of understanding. Never was the Quran a narration invented, but a confirmation of what was before it and a detailed explanation of all things and guidance and mercy for a people who believe.